Fox the YouTube channel. So in Nadi astrology, like I was telling from very long time, this planetary motion is very important. Okay, that is where people miss the trick. Okay, generally you would have heard of this Nandi Yoga. Means, for example, see like this. Jupiter is here. Mars is here. Venus is here. So, this Jupiter is a slow moving planet. Okay. This Mars is a fast moving planet. Jupiter is the native. And Venus is the wife. Before this Jupiter reaches this uh, wife, the elder, the younger brother, sorry, the younger brother would have got married. Because this Mars is faster in motion. But do you think like always is must, uh, everybody was having... This kind of thing will get married, means his younger brother or, his, or younger sister will get married. No, not possible. There the planetary motions are very very important. Apart from Kakshiyam, this is also important. Okay. So, if you see here, uh, most of them don't have an idea about this planetary motion. It is not their mistake. It's because the books have shown us like that. Okay. That is the reason. Now, we should get an idea. What exactly we are trying to check? The first one, which is like Astangatam. Okay. What is this Astangatam? We should understand. See, we use a geocentric concept. It means we stand in the earth and we visualize or see all the other planets. Okay. Now let me assume this is sun. So all planets go around this uh, sun. Okay. Now let us assume this earth is moving in this orbit. Okay. Let me call earth. Now there is this Mars which is again moving around this sun. Now this sun sorry this mars is there at some point of time what happens this earth may overtake this mars okay just like you are sitting in a train and the objects are moving buoyant so for this earth because we are viewing from earth this mars looks like it is going backward okay but actually it is not going backward okay that motion we call it as retrogression because change in motion of the planet okay so this is how this retrogression comes okay now let me put another diagram now what happens the mars is traveling and it comes here somewhere okay so now if you see this sun okay let me make it bigger because sun is obviously bigger so this mars all the rays are blocked by this sun means the earth is not able to get any rays from the Mars. So now this Mars is in Astangatam or combustion means whatever the Karakas indicated by that Mars. So for example if a female is having a combusted Mars okay blocked completely by the sun which is not getting any rays from the planet then definitely she will not have that kind of support from Mars or what kind of uh, like she may have a late marriage or her husband may not be like having that grand, uh, uh, what is that, uh, vigor or agility, like uh, what she expected in a positive way, maybe he will have in a negative way. Understand? So all that uh, Karakas related to Mars will be damaged. Okay, so that is the reason in Nadi, more than debilitated planet, combusted planet is more dangerous. Okay, so when these planets will get combustion, Moon will get it, 12 degree when it is with sun and Mars 17 degree and Mercury 11 degree Jupiter 15 degree and Venus 9 degree Saturn 10 degree so let me make you understand this is known as Ashtangatam means uh, consider a example that is 
let us put this sun in mesh rashi okay 25 degree hmm? and when this moon which is coming at 13 degree in mesh rashi okay and this is astam or astangatam when this moon is moving 12 degrees from this sun okay uh, what will be that 7 degree this is known as udayam means even though 13 degree to 25 degree is the astangatam but that moon will regain the strength only it is moving 12 degrees away from this sun the 7 degree only it is udayam similarly you can calculate for all other planets okay this is very very important okay just like the retro shatbaram uh, means uh, astangatam means it will not make sense okay so understand these two concepts what does actually it means then after that we have some more concepts okay so we saw uh, vakragati and we saw astangatam okay then there is known as neragati that is direct which doesn't need any explanation then that is adivegam okay and adhikaram okay like that there are motions then there is something known as mandagati okay then there is stambanam okay all this nuances and minute differences are what which makes big differences in nadi astrology okay why everybody with the same jupiter and venus combination are not getting that same result okay why somebody with saturn and venus with the same thing are not getting the same result of course some may not have ketu connection so they got good results some but these things are very very important and these things we will cover in when we take this kakshayam okay but now let me uh, go into one concept to tell you um, how these uh, planets are coming means uh, from sun if uh, there is a planet in second okay we will call it as adhigaram okay but if it is in third we will call it as samagati that is normal speed okay but if it is in fourth it will be mandagati okay so like that each and every planet have certain uh, motions okay then again it will become when it is go to fifth and sixth it will become neragati okay so these are like very very basics you don't need a nadi book if you go to any basic astrology book you will have all these basics but the problem is okay we don't want to study the basic first thing we see is we want predictions even because uh, i am not blaming anyone but today we have moved like this uh, the applications are there so like they will instantly give the chart definitely even i will only generate the chart using an application but i know like if i somebody is giving me a panjangam i'll put it and i'll cast the chart i'll take the balance of dasha that is also very very important okay because then only you will know how things are getting uh, derived why there is uh, an ayanamsham why you have to take ayanamsham for example sun will be in one rashi in our system but in western system it will totally different rashi why you are taking that uh, ayanamsham tilt 23 degree or 24 degree we, we are having many thing basin uh, cg rajan ala uh, raman lairi vakya panjangam all these are there okay so these topics needs to be discussed in detailed okay a planet which is uh, appearing to go reverse and a planet which is in stationary a planet which is moving fast okay adicharam okay very quickly it is moving for example i'll tell you one um, scenario okay generally what happens um, saturn will take 30 months that is 2 and 1/2 years to cross one rashi okay if it is within 2 years if it is crossing a rashi okay then that is a atcharam planet okay it is moving very fast means a 
when you uh, in the chart a saturn which is moving in a proper motion uh, and another chart a planet which is moving in a, in a very fast motion they both to have different results okay that is the reason i always tell do the bhava madhyama to the charts then you take the kakshiyam then you take the ashtakvargam then you do okay then definitely this progression and all will get a uh, accurate answers but either we don't have the patience or the client will not have the patience but of course we are learning so we can study in a longer basis there is nothing wrong in that but i just want to say you okay so these things are there in basic books just go through them but one by one i'll give a detailed like how to identify what is the different states okay these things also we have to keep in mind why i am saying is this because sometimes when you are giving some results you would have got seven times correct suddenly you may go here and there wrong so this minute difference will make the difference otherwise without this also you can give but it is better to know these things thank you i am honest